Well, since the, the invention of the Internet, there have been good users and bad ones. And with the technology, Arkansas became a part of a task force that goes after the bad guys looking to hurt children. THV 11's Ashley Gowan joins us now. Ashley, the organization is celebrating 20 years and more than 1,000 predators arrested. It's the Arkansas Internet Crimes Against Children. Since 2003, the way kids spend their time online has changed drastically, which keeps the task force constantly training for the latest crimes. There were a lot of chat rooms, Yahoo chat rooms. They got so tired of it. <laughs> they really were not doing this anymore. 20 years ago, the Internet Crimes Against Children, or ICAC, was created. It's a division under the Arkansas State Police. What then was investigations into online chat rooms and websites has now turned into apps and social media. I um, mean, then Instagram, when it came up, you know, it is still very much active with young people. Snapchat is very active with young people. Lenore Palladino is a senior intel analyst with ICAC. She deals with investigations in Arkansas as well as across state lines to keep our children safe. Unlike a lot of um, crimes, this one can happen with your victim in one state and your bad guy in another state. Police train frequently as the next popular technology comes along, including the state's newest police pup, Lucy, who sniffs and detects hard drives and computer software. Seemed like a natural fit. But as parents and kids should be aware, nothing stays private once put online or on an app. With the electronic service providers like Google and Facebook and Snapchat, they report any kind of child abuse um, images to the National Center. The National Center then determines which ICAC it goes to. ICAC is still discovering new technology, like rendered child sexual abuse materials, which is why Palladino says it's so important to keep the lawmakers informed as technology becomes more advanced. The laws that are in place dictate how we can conduct our investigations. So our laws are going to have to keep up with things like AI. And there are things parents can do to make sure your kids stay safe while online. Know what apps and online games your kids are on. Research anything that you don't know about to get a better idea of the content. And know what your kids are downloading and doing on their phones.